Wow. Wow. It is very exciting. This is, this is actually the coolest thing I've done at the show. Now that was an absolute trip. I've been in VR a long time. You try to do everything you can to make it more immersive. Sometimes you try something new and it's like, okay, that's cool, or it hits you, but like the first moment when I reached out and I touched that sunflower and it touched back. Oh wow, oh wow. All of your oh actions. wow. I haven't felt that way in VR in a very long time. And yes, you can't move your wrists and the whole thing, you feel it's on you. It's almost like those weird things you put on your face. It's all those, made of all those little needles, you push your face near, then you look at the other side and you feel your, see your face. It kind of feels like those touching all along your hands. So I know you guys obviously are eventually getting out to consumers, but this is still a prototype this right here. This is one of our development kits. Okay. It came out about two years ago. So this is stationary, expensive, high, high price oh, yeah. points, enterprise use mostly. The new um, G1, which is on display on the other side with the backpack, that's gonna be more generated toward mass users, consumers, and still primarily enterprise. All of your oh, actuators wow. are in your fingertips and in your palms. So there's no sensation on the back of your hand. It's all gonna be on the front. Each hand has 133 actuators that are fed with capillary sized tiny air controls that come from that compressor on the floor. So it's not the most intricate feeling thing, but it is like, man, I'm at a loss for words right now because that was just so exciting to try. It's VR touching back. Oh wow, oh you feel it roll down your hand as it rolls down. <laughs> Simple as that sounds, it's so weird because I've done it for so long. Someone who had never tried VR and did that, they'd be like, oh, this is cool, it's part of the experience. But where I'm so used to my hands going through tables or I pick something up and I have to simulate that I'm holding it, that actually felt like, okay, this virtual object just became a real object. And it was wild. That is incredible. Is that oh my gosh. Yeah. You can feel, you can, I mean, you can move it around on your hand and feel it reaching each end. Yeah. Just the feeling of reaching out and touching something. This That's is one of my favorite parts. This is a wild <laughs> sensation. I thought the rain was going to be the coolest part. And the rain was neat, feeling the raindrops. But when you just pick something up and it's just like, it simulates a weight. There's no weight to the object still. But the fact that you can now feel a shape of it, your fingers stop. Those stop your fingers from being able to close around the object or squeeze through it. You, you suddenly think you have this object in your hand. I've been in VR for years and to actually reach out and have something touch back, it's it's, it's, it's a shock. It's, it's it's jarring almost because you're so used to not. Wow. Yeah, it just really brings it to life. It is a little like, at first it feels clunky, but you get used to it like just like right. other VR. Like right, you start exactly. to grab stuff, you learn how to grab it better. The grabbing is the hardest part. You got some more buttons to play with over there. Oh, no. The first one, that's Wanda. Aww. Wanda the fox. And if you lay your palm down, she'll jump in. You can feel her feet on your hand. <laughs> oh no! Oh, she'll come back. Yeah. <laughs> we also, if you're not afraid of spiders, that middle button brings out Gertrude. Oh oh and boy. Gertrude, if you let her jump in one hand and Wanda in the other, you'll feel the difference between those eight little creepy spider legs. Okay. Uh, oh. And the, yeah, it's very lifelike. Oh boy. Oh boy. This. This could mess people up right here. I know. I, some people opt not to push that button. And oh, then, gosh. For the real spider haters, the next button's a fly swatter. <laughs> so then you, oh my goodness. I feel like I have to, but I don't really want to. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Grab the end of that with one hand and the handle with the other and feel, bend it down. You really feel the torsion and the okay. spring back. You can also twist the head of that thing and you can feel the texture of the, of the grid. You can feel the torsion in the plastic. This is something. Wow. It was a mind effort too. That was just, the, it was so weird when I reached out and put my hand on the barn and then I tried to like push my fingers through the barn, I couldn't do it. They just stopped. You can push down with a finger and feel the feedback. Oh wow. You can push with your whole hand on the top of that barn too and just feel up to eight pounds of force feedback with each fingertip. Wow. The force is stronger than I would have expected. Right. Like it air, really, right? it really stops you. The air capillaries on the fingertips, there's also a braking mechanism in those cables on the back of your hands which to together give you force feedback. It was exciting. It was really cool. Also though, as soon as you get used to that, I wanted to go further. Like I wanted my whole arm to stop if I tried to shove my arm through. Cause I could put my hand on there but I could still, you know, tilt my arm wherever I want to. You obviously want 100% max immersion, which we're not there. Why is it the second VR brings something more immersive out? I just want more. Cause like, I want my hand to, I want my arm to have a cable now that stops my arm so, too. 
interesting you ask because the G1 that's coming out next year, they're also working on a robotic arm that goes with it. Oh. And so there will be a lot more opportunity for for feeling the weight of things and the force feedback of things. Wow. But just to be able to touch things and feel it, it was wild. If they can make a consumer version of those gloves that doesn't have to be so huge and so much work and wired in and strapped in, but just something that has, you know, tensile cables or something that can stop your fingers around things, it would be a huge game changer for immersion. That was really wild.